Hello and welcome back to the Panda Power YouTube channel. My name is Florian Schaeffer. I'm sorry that it took so long to make the next video. As you can imagine, as an engineer, you have a lot of stuff to do. I'm sorry for that. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the optimal power flow and how to use it in Panda Power. And for this, I'm gonna show you a first little example on the sheet. I'm gonna explain what we're gonna look at in the programming uh, part and then we're gonna go into programming. So let's have fun. Let's have a look at the easy example. So we imagine having three buses, bus here, here and there, and they're connected with lines. Let's say this is bus number one, this is bus number two, and this is bus number three. And at bus number three, there is a load with 300 megawatts. So this load must be supplied by the generators in the grid. Let's imagine here's a generator at bus number two with 300 megawatts as well. And here's another generator, which has also three, 300 megawatts. So now the question is, how, how much does every generator generate to supply the load? So imagine this one would fully supply the load, then it would supply 300 megawatts, and this would do nothing. Or in the second case, it could be that this one is doing 150, and this one is doing 150 as well. So the question is now, how much is this one going to supply the load and this one as well? So as you can see, we start with creating the Panda Power Network. As always, we have an empty network. We create the three buses, which voltage limit specifies. So the minimum and maximum voltage per bus, which is necessary for the optimal power flow. And then we create the three lines here and we create the load, which is, which is at bus number three as shown in the picture. Okay, now we have to create the generators, which is done as usual by creating um, the generators for the bus we want, so bus number one. We specify the power it has for the power flow. So this would be zero or 300 or 200. It doesn't matter because it's neglected in the optimal power flow. What is necessary and is not neglected in the optimal power flow are the limits for the generator. So this one has a limit of 300 megawatts, which was shown in the picture, and a minimum of zero, of course. And it is controllable, so the optimal power flow is allowed to change the power of it. And in this case, we need a slack. So this generator is the slack generator uh, for the grid. Okay. Then we do the same for the second generator. We also specify a power which is, as I said, neglected for the optimal power flow. And then we specify the limits for this one and the controllable parameter. Okay, so now still the question is open, which of those will supply the load to which amount? And this depends on the cost. So we have to create a cost function for the generators generators which is called create polycost the function and we want to do that for element number g1 so the first generator here and it's a generator element type and then we have to specify the linear cost for example also the static cost can be f uh, defined and the quadratic cost but we only specify here the linear cost to keep it simple and let's say this one costs 30 euro per megawatt and we do the same for generator number two. And then we can hit pp.runOPP, which is the optimal power flow, and print the results for the generator. And what we have now is an equal amount of power which the generators supply for the load because they are, have the same price. If the price is cheaper of one of the generators, let's say generator number one only costs 20 euro instead of 30 per megawatt, then the supply or the load will be supplied by the first generator in total. Basically in total, the small amounts here are uh, due to the line loadings or the losses in the line. If we add now a third generator, just for fun, uh, which has the same data, as the other two. So here, um, generator number three at bus three, which is at the same bus as the load. And everybody has the same price, or every generator. Then the question is, which one 
covers the load to which amount? Is it equally shared by 100 megawatt per generator? Let's find out. No, it is not because the third one covers the load entirely because it's the same bus. And so the line losses um, change the, the, the price basically or the, the optimal solution. Okay, why isn't it 300 megawatt? This is due to numerical issues with the optimization problem, of course. If we just change the price a little bit down, so it's on the third sign of the comma, the third one is covering the load uh, totally. So be careful with optimization problems and be careful with the optimal power flow in general. So this was just an easy example about the optimal power flow. I hope it gave, gave you a feeling how to use it and what it is for. Of course, there are more tutorials on our website. If you want to check it out, you can find them under getting started as always. Uh, one last thing, you might have noticed that the power values changed from kilowatts to megawatts. This is due to the change from Panda Power 1 to Panda Power version 2, which will be coming out soon. And if you want to already download it, you can do it on GitHub on the develop branch. Okay, so this was it for today. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.